The Pearl actually started with an idea that was, well, are you interested in investing in a restaurant? I said, sure. Are you interested in all that it takes? Uh, I said, sure. Now, I knew that investing in this restaurant, and I knew the location, and I knew that we would make it successful no matter what, and we would learn a lot no matter what, and we would have a lot of fun no matter what. This thing has turned into something far beyond my wildest dreams in terms of success. It is such a great place to be. It's a, it's a great place to come and to eat or drink. It's a great place to come and hang out. It's a great place to come and listen to music. I want it to be a great place for all of our customers to come and hang out, and it is that. When I come to the Pearl with Jan or with a friend, it's just so delightful because we usually leave saying, God, don't you love this place? Don't you love the people? It's really turned into something much more magnificent than I could have possibly imagined, and I'm really, really grateful for that. Right when I interviewed, um, one of the first things Mike said to me is that the staff is like a family. He's like, it sounds really cheesy. You'll hear it at every place you want to work. They'll be like, oh, we're like a family here. But for us, it's really true. Then I started working there, and it really was true. And it was kind of, it was obvious really early on that everybody was going to be willing to help everybody else out, and nobody was going to be slacking on their part. It's a different experience. It's more than just dinner and drinks. Um, if you're lucky enough to get to talk to Harry or Michael, uh, you'll definitely know. Uh, it's a different vibe here. I feel like people leave here most of the time feeling like they've had an experience. Uh, they haven't just had fish taco and a beer Well, I think um, our staff is very close. Uh, a lot of them have been here for a while, uh, which sometimes doesn't mean anything, and in this case, it does mean something. Um, we're just, we're family. You know, you hear family thrown around a lot. No, oh, they're family. We're family. Oh, we treat you like family. But a lot of places don't. Um, but I think we realize that what sets us apart, besides our tasty food and the, the really nice place you get to enjoy it, is how we treat guests and how we really treat them like they're a part of our family. Letting them in at inside jokes, uh, poking fun at everybody, and just having a good time. Kind of what you see is what you get. Like, you can walk in and you get the vibe from us right away that we're a really welcoming place. It's really comfortable. Everyone's amongst friends. And, you know, I put fish tacos in front of them and they'd probably be back for more. Uh, the love that Harry's always preaching about at the Pearl, can you give me an example of a time when you see it? Uh, approaching strangers, um, telling me to put uh, so-and-so, you know, buy around, put something on his tab. Um, but I see him uh, definitely approaching people and talking to them. Uh, and not as a, uh, you know, not as a proprietor, just as a you know, human being. The Black Pearl. Uh, it's, it's a phenomenal place. It's wonderful to work at. Your first time walking in there, you, you can feel the vibe and the energy and the atmosphere. It's different. It's unlike most restaurants around here. Um, you, you're going to feel the love from the owner, Harry, if he, if he happens to be wandering around there. Um, Michael, if you get blessed to have him make you laugh, tell, he'll tell you a joke or two or talk to you for an hour. Servers aren't just passing by each other and not like saying a word or not making eye contact. They're always in communication. And I think that people read that um, when they're sitting at the Black Pearl. And that's why we have so many great regulars that come back because they get that, that family feeling, that atmosphere, and they just can't get enough of it. No, I mean, every day is like, you know, whether I'm in the kitchen or upstairs, like we're all here for each other. You know, it's, it's like, it really is a family atmosphere, you know, I come in and, like the moment I walk in the door, whether it's Michael saying hello, you know, asking about my day or whatever it is, you know, we're all just here for the same goal. The staff seems to have really, the staff seems to be really close and I feel like I've quickly became a part of it and it seems like, I don't know, we're a team. Like even outside of work there's like the camaraderie that only like makes working better because you, you care about each other. I see the love every day in the kitchen, are you kidding me? We're actually teaching each other Spanish all of the time. Well, the Latinos learn English, but the love is being spread via language learning. I'm always seeing new customers being given fish tacos to try out. I'm seeing regular customers being greeted by everyone in the restaurant with love. 
it happens every day. I've had customers have come in and they've never they've never been here and they or they don't know what the pearl is about. You just show them a really good time and then at the end, you know, I've had people say, I'll, I'll definitely come back here. I love the food, love the drinks, service is great. And it's just always nice when you can give somebody a good time, put a smile on their face. This is a very special place from my point of view. And so to my staff, I'm just incredibly eternally grateful. So that's one thing. I'm grateful for the staff. I'm grateful for the customers who hung out with us since we started. And um, we ain't even scratched the surface of how cool we can be and what we can do because uh, we want to take this place to something where more people know about it. When I run into people all over the country, oh yeah, I've been to the Black Pearl. I love the Black Pearl. Well, what is it that they love? I want to distill that and make it more powerful and make more people aware of and be exposed to what it is they love the Black Pearl. What is it that they love? And it ain't just the food. And it ain't just the service. So I want more people to experience 